Today we have uh, some dogs and some owners of therapy dogs. And these are the dogs that come to our library on the second Tuesday of each month. And they are great friends to all of our kids that come in. My name is Jan Dashner and this is my therapy dog, Maggie Mae. And she is a English cream golden retriever. Hi, I'm Lisa Poignier and this is my rescue dog, Zeke. And he is two years old and he's a lab mix. I'm Carol Kopernick and this is my dog, Murphy. And Murphy is a mini doodle. And he is uh, part golden retriever. Mama was a golden retriever and Daddy was a miniature poodle. And he is six years old. What does a therapy dog do? One of the things that a therapy dog does is basically bring comfort to areas where there may be stress. And our dogs all visit in nursing homes and um, we go come here to the library so that children can read to them, maybe if it's a little stressful reading out loud. A dog doesn't care if you mispronounce the words, so it's right. a good place just to practice reading. And then even big kids get stressed around books, and so we go to the uh, university on uh, their final exam week, and it's just an opportunity to decompress by petting a dog. Um, I retired this year, so last year was my last year teaching in O'Fallon, and Zeke was fortunate enough to come to school, with, and he visited with students, and he just kind of relieved their anxiety and helped them feel better, and he practiced reading a lot with them. You know, I like to think that their job is basically to make people happy. About here, one of the things that we started doing with the dogs is kind of as a comfort dog, uh, in the time of the death of a, of a family member, uh, they do either visitations or funerals. And we've had some police officers, some high profile ones that we have done. Uh, and it's, it's really been a very rewarding experience and the dogs uh, and the people especially. I know as soon as the dogs walk in here, the atmosphere changes completely. So they have a way of kind of just calming people yep. down. So how do you, does a dog become a therapy dog? Uh, but there are many steps. They go through a basic training first. Yeah. Uh, and then when they get to the point where they can do the basic skills and they go to training with, like our group has got your six and there are other groups in the St. Louis area that will do a similar program. And then they're certified through that and they do what uh, they call it uh, canine good citizen. Uh, basic those skills, they have to pass those tests. So there's a lot that goes on. I know a lot of people ask us when we're out, oh, I'd like to do that. What does it take to do it? And I think a lot of times they're surprised at the amount of work is involved both for the dog and for the handler and uh, how much dedication it takes to do it. Right. It, it takes, uh, the very first step is to have a, an evaluation of your dog. Um, it, all of these dogs are our personal pets, but they have to be evaluated to see if they have the temperament to become a therapy dog. They have to be calm enough and they have to not be too stressed when, you know, something crazy happens like, you know, uh, uh, not every dog wants strangers petting them. Right. And, and so the first step is to do a, a temperament evaluation on the dog and see if, um, if they might be successful in their training. So what kinds of things do you do to train the dogs? During training classes, we're um, taught basic commands, and then we go home and practice those. And one of the most important ones, I feel, is the sit and the stay, leave it which means that if something's dropped on the floor, especially in a nursing home or something like that, if a patient drops a pill or some food, the dogs are trained to leave it alone and not eat it or ingest it. You have to have a dog that's, and, and so they get an opportunity to be around other dogs and to our practice time is always with a group of other dogs and they uh, get an opportunity to, you know, you can, you can maybe do sit and stay when you're in your living room all by yourself, but to do it with, uh, you know, seven or eight other dogs around is an important piece. So they have to be able to work as a team and with a group, and and to like each other. And I think these dogs like each other. Yeah, right. Sometimes too much. Yeah. <laughs> they know what the other one is. They know what they're there for, and they're there to do a job. 
Right. And, and they're fun because at the very beginning, they want to greet each other. They want to say hello because, you know, like us, with this time, we haven't seen each other in a long time. But as soon as we start walking um, maybe a uh, hallway in a nursing home, they almost forget that they are part of other, they're, they're not paying attention to the other dog at all. Uh, we were, I was working in a church down in New Baden, and we have the food pantry there. And so we had many people from the community coming for our services, and she was able to be the greeter dog. And she was so excited. <laughs> and she would look at me, sit up like this, and she'd look at me, and I'd go greet. And she would go to the door and greet someone, because that was her job. Yeah. Should someone pet a therapy dog when they see them at a school or a library? Depends on the circumstances. Primarily, I think I would say yes, but I think it's really important that everybody know that they uh, ask before they ever pet a dog, whether it's a therapy dog or any dog in a situation. Ask if it's all right if they pet the dog, and they even have that on the side of their vest. Yes. Yeah, they can. Their little badge says, "Ask to pet me. I'm friendly." Um, so it's important not to just rush up, because um, that can be frightening for a dog to have someone just rush up real quickly. And there are a lot of different dogs, there's service dogs also, and with the service dogs, you know, they may not want them to pet those service dogs, it's a, it's a whole other situation, and people don't necessarily know the difference when they see a vest on the dog. So just on a personal note, what does your dog like to do most? <laughs> Visits. <laughs> when it, being around people, he's very social, and he is the happiest when he's around people. He has, he has lots of joy to share. Yeah, yeah he, he's one of our ones that used to come in and bark. Just a happy little bark. We know Murphy was here. Mag Maggie loves um, stuffed toys, and she likes to unstuff toys. And Zeke enjoys walks and playing ball. He likes to fetch a ball. He's a master fetcher. <laughs> oh, you're, you're talking <laughs> He's a typical retriever. And uh -huh. Yeah, as soon as I said that word B A L L, uh -huh. oh, he his ears perked up. <laughs> what is something your dog doesn't like to do? Zeke doesn't like to have his nails trimmed. <laughs> That's not one of his happiest moments. He likes a bath, but he doesn't like his nails trimmed. Maggie is a little leery of it's okay. um, getting headed close to her, her eyes. I think you know, when she was real little, we, there was a, a couple of children in the neighborhood kind of poked her. Uh -huh. And so she's a little nervous. She loves to be patted, and she's got lots of fluff to pat, but she's a little nervous yeah. about when someone reaches for her face. With Murphy, it's uh, you know, <laughs> typical things. You know, the Amazon driver, the FedEx driver, he, he's got to go talk to him, you know, uh, let everybody in the neighborhood know he's there. Zeke loves the trash man. And he knows the difference between the recycle truck and the trash truck, so they must make a distinct different sound. But he, the trash man, honks and, and lowers the a truck for him and honks and Zeke just goes crazy because he loves the trash man. Uh, we try to go out oh, three, three times a week. We were going to nursing homes. Um, usually it's just an hour long visit. And it's amazing how they get tired out with just one hour in a nursing home or one hour here at the library. They go home and Maggie just, it's, she's ready for a nap. It's, it's, you know, it may not look like there's yeah. a lot of energy being put out, but there's a lot it's of really emotional mm -hmm. and they're, they're listening all the time. There's it's, a difference between their work time while they love it, there's a difference between their work time and their play time at home. Mm -hmm. Very rewarding. The yes. people are just over the moon about the dogs. Well, I know that we've had, I think we've had therapy dogs, gosh, I don't know, maybe five, six years, maybe longer. But it's a special time for everybody to, when they, they are here. Some people just come just for the visits and some are just delighted to find that it's the day the dogs come. So thanks very much for coming. And well, thank you. We'll thank see you, you in the library. Us.